Hello again everyone, Edwin Marner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Mercury in the 11th house in the natal chart. Now first off, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on Mercury placements in a, a natal chart, and uh, they were a little bit concise, and some people may have referred to them as snappy, so what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So um, anyway, first thing up, Mercury in the 11th house is comparable to Mercury in Aquarius, but naturally you got to blend in the zodiac sign um, with that. Now, Mercury in Leo in the 11th house can be much different than Mercury in Aquarius in the 11th house as an example. Now, the thing about um, this is, first off, Mercury is connected, of course, with communication. So, yeah, communication uh, may, be all, may often be with friends, with acquaintances, with stepchildren, if applicable. The person may often uh, talk about their goals, aspirations, one's future, thinking may be ingenious, even unorthodox, innovative. There may be a lot of conversations regarding you know, the environment. Um, new technology, computers, electronics, astrology, aviation, meteorology. The mind may often be geared toward uh, humanitarian interests and endeavors um, as well. And there may often be a lot of you know, talk about you know, money that is made uh, from one's career or business. Now, Mercury is also connected with assimilating information. So this person may enjoy you know, gathering information online. Now many people may do this regardless of astrological placements, but um, more so it may be more emphasized with this placement more so uh, than most. And the thing about this is the person may often uh, you know, be interested in information you know, that is connected with electronics, um, you know, innovation, you know, meteorology, the weather, aviation, uh, humanitarianism. They may often try to, you know, get information, you know, regarding their friends, you know, group related matters. This could be somebody, it, you know, may often go online and try to get some some dirt, you know, so to speak, on their friends, some info before, you know, evolving or escalating the connection, so to speak. And this could also be a person that might like to gather information about astrology. Um, this could be, you know, as well when you have, um, you know, displacement. Now, Mercury is also connected with analysis. So this person may often, people that have displacement, I may often analyze, you know, their friends to some degree, their, um, you know, acquaintances. They know, you know, their behavior. You know, well, why do they do this? Why is this action taking place? Um, their goals, aspirations, whether they're realistic or not. Um, it could be. The person may often analyze you know, group-related matters, uh, things connected with humanitarianism, astrology, things that are you know, connected with astronomy, um, you know, their future, you know, where they're going to be at a certain point in time, where they what the person wants to be. It could also be money that may be uh, generated from a career or business. Um, now, also, uh, Mercury is associated with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So these people may figure more prominently in one's goals and aspirations than most than most people on average. Uh, they may figure play an integral role in money that is made from one's career or business. Um, they may factor in more in matters of the stepchildren, if applicable, one's friends, one's acquaintances. Uh, these could be people that are rather, um, you know, they could be, you know, unusual or unpredictable somehow, or even innovative or um, ingenious, unorthodox, as some examples. Uh, they may be people that are in, you know, some 11th house field, whether it's astrology, astronomy, computers, electronics, 
you know, aviation meteorology. Um, now also to uh, Mercury in astrology is associated with short journeys. So you know, short journeys you know, may often be taken, um, could be going to you know, some computer or electronic um, expo. It may be taken with friends, with acquaintances, with stepchildren. Um, if applicable, they may be t done with a lot of selflessness and altruism. You might find yourself you know, bringing people to different places and not really anticipating you know, any reciprocation um, for this. Also, too, um, it may be short journeys may be taken for you know, reasons connected with the environment. Maybe it's associated with the weather, studying weather in different locations. Um, it could be uh, as well, you know, short journeys may be taken to astronomy or astrological places or businesses of the, uh, connected with that. It could have, often have to do with money that is made from one's business or one's career um, as some examples. And you know, short journeys may also be very, you know, at times be spontaneous and unpredictable as well. You may enjoy, you know, traveling to, you know, unusual places. Now, another thing um, associated with Mercury in the natal chart is um, driving and, and your cars or vehicles, I should say. So the cars that one you know, may have, if applicable, you know, may be ones that are very you know, innovative and has the, you know, the new technology. This, the person may you know, often have you know, their car connected to the internet. I know a lot of people have that anyway, regardless of astrological placements, but it may be you know, more emphasized you know, with this placement as opposed to most others on average. You know, the driving, you know, as well, you know, maybe, you know, the person may be, you know, since we're talking about the 11th house of Aquarius, they may have new, you know, ideas as far as driving goes. It could also be, you know, the person may have a car, you know, that looks very futuristic. There may be more of an interest in those flying cars, you know, as um, an example. Cars may be often, um, they may be used by friends, by acquaintances, uh, by stepchildren as well, um, if applicable. And there may be, uh, you know, a lot of altruism and selflessness connected with vehicles as well, you know, such as you, you know, lending them to somebody, again, not, you know, anticipating or some kind of reciprocation in return uh, for doing so. Now, another thing, um, about Mercury is that it's associated with our early education. So the early education, you know, may emphasize the internet more so than most people on average. Um, computers more. You may f you may find yourself or I found yourself doing um, a lot of selfless acts for others, being very altruistic at this time. You may have expressed a lot of ingenuity. Do, during your early education, there might have been something unusual or unorthodox regarding that time of one's life as well, and whether it was going from one school to another, or you know half the time you know learning on the on the computer at home, being homeschooled, or half the time going um, to the actual classroom to learn things of that um, you know, nature, there might have been something unconventional regarding, you know, the learning process for some people that have this placement. There may have been enjoyment in, you know, uh, learning things connected with, you know, astronomy, astrology, computers, electronics, um, you know, aviation, you know, radiology, meteorology, as some examples. Now, Mercury is also connected with the rational with rational thinking, the rational mind. So when you have this placement, there may be a lot of, um, you know, the rational thinking may be more impacted you know, by groups, clubs, organizations, one's friends, acquaintances, um, stepchildren, if applicable. Um, maybe at times the rational thinking can be, you know, erratic and sporadic. We're talking about the um, 11th house which corresponds with the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Um, it can be, you know, also too, 
that um, displacement can often, you know, indicate, you know, mercurial, you know, fickle friends in some cases, but ones that are very cerebral and loquacious as well. Um, Mercury in the 11th house can also suggest possible goals and aspirations that are connected with communication or even manual dexterity, you know, such as working on um, auto automobiles, you know, vehicles, or doing uh, refrigeration mechanics. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Lawrence, uh, stay right.